Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to fix that squeak. Now I'm out. Yeah, it's too late. Dang it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to an episode. I believe this should be episode 61. We meet again in an alley. I feel like all of our meetings start off in alleys like this. So yeah, it is a, uh, it's Tuesday. It's the middle of May. Off from work today. Beautiful day. Super windy. So sorry if the wind affects the audio a little bit. So let's go this way. Yeah, 60, uh, this should be the 60th episode, one way or another. I know I had a couple, you know, how-to videos with the battery and the crank I put on. But yeah, more or less my 60th e-bike video here. I started, I think, April, March, April, maybe last uh, March or April 2021. I think maybe April. Yeah, it's good to be uh, filming again. Trying to get out a little more. Thanks for visiting Keeping It Kresge, as always. It's appreciated. And you long time, long time fans out there. Appreciate that as well.
These are some of the carts that used to go through the mines, I guess. This Brooks mine here was just a uh, example, as it says, of how some of the how the system worked. So cool. I've been, since I was a little kid, I've been staring at this place, looking through these gates and, and I was saying one awesome thing here, they're actually reopening this place. Brooks mine. I was all, I always wondered since I was a little kid, I learned how to ride a bike up at this park. So we're talking like 1985-86 Brooks Mine Project, some of the guys involved. The Brooks Mine Project was driven in 1902 as part of the Scranton School of Mines and later was used as a tourist attraction within Nyog Park. After being closed for nearly 50 years, the nonprofit group Underground Miners is taking on the task of restoring this historic landmark. And I am psyched. Can't wait to see what's in there. I don't know what's in there, but I think it closed in 1975. The Gravity Railroad car used on the Pennsylvania Coal Company Railroad was presented by the company to the city of Scranton, September 3rd, 1909. The car was used on the line from Holly to Pittston from 1850 to 1884. Some history right there. All right, let's continue on the journey. Looks like they're ready for Christmas already. a 50-50 chance that I ride through dog uh, leftovers if you will Let's see if I hit anything try not to curse hey Google remind me to fix the squeak in my front tire at 6 p.m. 
Got it. I'll remind you at 6 p.m. All right, there. I'm fixing that damn squeak. You got a flat? I got a I got a patch kit. Did it? How dead is it? Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. I could have had you fixed up. It was just a. Oh do you? Oh right on. New front pads, the quiet ones, hopefully, and fix that squeak. No. <laughs> <laughs> So a weird thing just happened with my mileage. I think I was just at about, a li I think I was almost at 2,700 miles, I believe. Yeah, it was just about 2,700. 
and uh, let this car pass and I'll and uh, I saw a comment from one of my recent video creativity from the future what's up uh, he was, or they were just telling me that uh, they just hit 820 miles on their bike which is awesome so I took a look down at my mileage and I had just checked it at a cafe. I was just uh, talking to somebody about how many miles I have on this. And I was, I think I was just about 2,700 miles. And I looked down and my mileage reset. So for whatever reason, I do a lot of gear switching on this hill. Yeah, my mileage got reset. So now I'm at 3.1 miles. So somewhere, I, I, I'm guessing it was a 2,700 mark. So I was like right there. Uh, my mileage got reset. I always can't remember where I'm going. turn is so you don't hit that turn right you're gonna go right off to the side Woo. wow that's so fun
right, so we're going to squeakily make our way around this lake. I was here before. I'm going to try to get a couple different shots. Yeah, I just saw two kids come out of here and it looked muddy as hell on their bikes, so I'm not sure how far we, we're going to be able to get. And now we're getting a little some limitations of this hyper scrambler off road here. So normally I go down this path, but I don't think that's happening. Huh. I guess I could go around there. That squeaking is going to drive me insane. Oh no, that's... might be a little muddy here. My one little uh, Allen bolt here is getting loose. I adjust this compression often. That's how bouncy or how far the fork will compress when I hit a bounce. So normally this is locked out, actually doesn't go at all. And one just isn't enough. I often bottom out. I'll hit a, I'll hit a bounce and I bottom out like the fork hits the its uh, limit. 
So I usually keep it on two compression. I'm about to hit a super bouncy area, I'll go to three. But normally two and three. Sometimes if it's a really flat road, I'll bring it to one. I always like to have a little uh, give. But this uh, Allen bolt is getting loose for me, adjusting this a lot. So next time I stop, I'll uh, tighten that up. But yeah, we'll go. I think we'll go two down. I got a pretty smooth road ahead of me. So I have to apologize in advance. Normally I try not to have the brake squeak when I'm braking, but this is a steep hill, so if I need a brake, I got a brake. like the little ride uh, I might go for a little bit longer but just in case I don't I never remember to say thanks for visiting I always appreciate it some of the longtime viewers you always comment appreciate it and uh, yeah thanks as always for coming along on keeping it crusty and we'll get another video out soon try to keep the ball rolling here Massive hill.